feel like today might be the day there's something big around. It's feeling fishy. I said I wanted to get another fish for you guys. Well, that is it. Woo! You are kidding me. That's the only thing that had him hooked. And look, it's just because it sliced into his tail a bit here that formed a bit of a noose. Morning guys. Welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Now, today is an interesting session and hear me out. I'm actually on a bait collecting mission. I want to catch a heap of pike that I can use for bait for a, a few other things. I've got a couple of ideas and I think pike might be the answer. Anyway, that's a different story, that's a different theory. Um, but I thought while I'm out here, oh, that's first cast, not very big. While I'm, oh, it might be. While I'm out here, I thought I might as well have a little plastic, plastic cast for snapper. Um, see if there's any any early season snapper around. And um, look, I wouldn't say no to a sweet lip or or a squid as well. I uh, I don't have too big expectations. It's a lovely morning. Look at that sunrise behind me there. Oh, I think I've got a little snapper already. That is a really good start. Now I. To be honest with you, and it's 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 a um, pretty good situation to be in. There you go, this guy here. I don't really need. Ow! There you go. He got me back. Little panty snap, first cast. It's a good sign. I'm gonna let him go. As I was saying, uh, I don't really need any fish to eat. I've got a fair fair supply in the freezer already, and um, I reckon I'll need one, or I'll take one for a bit of a fresh feed, and that's about it. So just out here having a bit of fun more than anything, but <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a strange day when pike are the, uh, the target species, so hopefully I can get onto a few pike later on. Um, look, if I have to catch a few snapper beforehand, so be it. If I'm gonna catch a snapper, Oh, that's a better one. That's a uh, second cast, just for the record. That's a better fish too. If I'm going to catch a few snapper, I may as well make it a big one. This one feels a lot better. Yeah, like a lot better. Oh, he's gone. Ah, oh, that's a good start though. Oh yeah. Don't know what went wrong there. That was a really nice fish. That had plenty of weight behind it. Ah, pants me, pants me. That's a bugger. That was a good fish. All right, cast number three. Um, I don't know, have I finished my intro yet? I've been a bit distracted. Been a bit distracted. I would have liked that one. That was a good fish. See if I can uh, get his mate in a second here. There's obviously snapper in the area. Two casts, two hookups. Um, I hope it continues on like this. I didn't get hit on the drop, so I don't know. Oh. Everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. Um, I don't know where I'm up to in my intro now, um, but public service announcement. I uh, mentioned last week I've got some new Sammy Hitsky fishing merch coming. Uh, I'm hoping to do them on the 31st of May. I'm hoping big launch, 34th, or. Oh. 31st of May um, That's what I'm aiming for if I can do it earlier. I will and I'll let you know but at this stage 31st of May Put it in your calendar. Trust me Trust me at least have a look at it because if you miss out you're gonna be pretty upset. There's some pretty cool kit coming um, I'm gonna I don't know I'm not really gonna get stuck in I already have I'm gonna continue fishing here, but uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for tuning in with a bit of luck it's another successful day on the water. Hope everyone's well, hope everyone's safe. 
little soft plastic session for your Sunday. Fingers crossed. Wouldn't mind getting a few live bait as well, actually. Might put a live bait out. Feel like today might be the day there's something big around. It's feeling fishy. You're not live bait. Oh. Got him. Played with that. Oh, live is on the bottom. This is the multitask. Little grassy sweet lip. Oh, right. There you go, little grassy. Usually that guy would come home for a feed. It's his lucky day. Well, I've wrangled myself a couple of liveys, and in the process, turns out my live well, there's something blocking the hose. So, that's gonna be fun. Now I've got a good old fashioned wet sleeve to uh, catch one. Little two hook um, wire rig, hoping for a uh, Spanish cobia, something cool like that. I'm not fussy. Lightly pinned, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Just going to free spool him out a bit here. Give him some line to play with, get him away from the boat. Then he can sit in the rod holder and just do his thing. Having a live year, it's just like a second chance draw. You never know when there's going to be something big and and uh, and fast swimming around. Hopefully he goes off. That'd be cool. Well, I got cocky. I uh, had that first drift doing the intro. Got smashed, and then um, went better go get some liveies. Got liveies, put a livey out, and it's gone dead. The um, yeah. The wind has changed direction. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. But we've got nice overcast conditions today, so there's a fair chance we will get a prolonged dawn bite, which is always good. But for now, they've gone off the chew. But I'm gonna hang here for a bit because it's quite nice conditions. The water looks a good color. Um, yeah, I reckon they'll come back on shortly, but I don't know, there's something shut them down. Either that or I just hit the nail on the head when I first rocked up. That was a uh, good timing or unlucky timing, I don't know. At least I got one. No donuts. Yes. And hey, what's worse comes. Oh. Feels like a little grassy here. Oh. Or, or not. This has got a fair bit of go. Struth. Get off the bottom. Okay. I don't know what that my lure was most of the way in. This thing just grabbed it. Oh, I want him off the bottom though, because he dug straight down. Might be a bit grassy. Saying that I usually misdiagnose most of the fish I hook on plastics. What do we got? Haha. Ah. Or what? Oh, you. Oh. Almost thought that was a jack for a second then. That's a cracking grassy. Nah, no wonder he was kicking up a stink. 
I reckon this might be my go the guy I take home. If I can get a big snapper as well, beautiful. If not, all good. That is a lovely little grassy sweet level, or not little. No wonder he went like a truck. Just bopped it right close to the boat, and then bang. Right, oh now guys, if you're watching with your kids, now would probably be a good time to uh, take them to do something else. I'm gonna show you how I kill and bleed my fish. I've had heaps and heaps of people asking me why I don't bleed my fish, uh, because it doesn't look like a stereotypical um, smiling fish with the throat cut. Now, what I do, hopefully they are in frame here. So kids, squeamish people, look away now. I kill my fish first, so knife, usually a smaller, um, smaller, sturdier knife is a bit safer and better. In behind the eye, and see how they're doing that kick there? You've just pierced their brain and uh, and killed them. So that's a very humane way to kill them, very quick, very fast. They don't suffer at all. Now to bleed the fish, instead of cutting the neck, sorry, I'll just get him up here. Instead of cutting the neck here, there's actually no blood in there at all, none. There's no blood at all. So what you can do, and it makes your fish look a heap better at the end of the day, if you're gonna have a, a, a shot, See behind the gills here? You'll see a patch of skin behind the gills. That's where all his organs and heart is. So knife in behind there, pierce it all the way down below the gills. Oh, make a mess of your boat. That's actually his heart there. And then go also up the, the whole way and you'll hit his spine where the um, bloodline and everything is. And then you've got a, a very well bled fish. And that works every single time. Give them a rinse in some um, fresh salt water. And that fish is ready for the table. It's dead, it's humanely killed, it's bled, ready for the ice. One day, I'll catch a legal one of these things. And that day, it's gonna be victorious. Victorious and glorious all in the same time. Let me know in the comments if you've caught a legal one. Pretty sure it has to be 38 centimeters because it's a member of the cod family. So it has to be 38 centimeters. I reckon I've got 30 centimeters before. But uh, yeah, look, never seen a legal one. Probably don't even exist. If I've got a legal one, I just about have to put it on the wall, I reckon. I only want one big snapper. It's not too much to ask. It doesn't even have to be that big. Sixty? Sixty is a good size. Get a bit of meat off it. Everybody's happy. Mainly me. Not so much the snapper, but yeah. Or if Livey Boy goes off, that'll be cool as well. Big Spanish or something cool, Kingy maybe, Cobia, Marlin, Dolphin. Maybe not the dolphin. I don't know. Dolphin steaks. Maybe not. Probably be too hard to fill it. Well, the wind has come back up, which isn't fun. But um, I don't know, it's still pretty shut down. I'm thinking I might start my bait collection early. Go and see if I can get some squid for tea. Um, and then also come back for an Arvo sesh. If I'm still out here. Weather's meant to be a touch better than Sarvo, so this isn't much fun. It's even less fun when they're not chilling. No, they're here. 
can't get a double hook up first. Little fella. You can't get a double hook up like first two casts and there not be fish around. I think they've just gone on smoko. Which is fine. Really had a smoko break. I will be back. Well, I tell you what, I don't know. Guys, I'm trying to catch some pike for bait. Now, any other day, you'd be stoked. But have a go at the size of this brim. Just casting some weed beds on the inside of uh, the bay here. Have a go at the size of that. Big blue nose bay brim. Absolutely annihilated the double clutch. Can't catch a pike to save myself. Just catching big brimbos. I tell you what, you catch that guy in a brim comp, you'd be absolutely stoked. Look at him. Big blue nose on him. That is a honker, honker of a brim. He did not miss, he did not miss that lure. Where's that other treble? That other treble is right down there. Oh, we got it. I see you, mate. Another classic bit of pike bycatch. Try and catch a flatty any other time. No deal. You want some pike? Flathead. So I'm up to three brim. One little flatty. See you, mate. But on the upside, guys, the little 70 mil double clutch has claimed six pike. Ha ha. Sweet victory. Straight to the ice slurry. I need a fair few more at this stage. I've only got about six or seven there. Um, but keep on plodding away. Well, by definition, that is a squid. Um, just not too sure about the size. That is a small jig and that is a small squid. He's a lucky, lucky day. See you, champion. Once again, right species, wrong size. See you, mate. This could be interesting. I'm um, jigging some live bait. Something's eating a live bait and I'm guessing he's got a, a hook fouled in him somewhere and I'm still connected. Might have to worry whatever this is to death. Might be a mackerel or, or something like that. It's, taking a bit of line well, I think it's only literally gonna have a tiny tiny little um, tiny little hook in it so literally you have to go super super light can't rush it hopefully it gets tired soon or at least gets comes up enough to have a gaff shot at it I didn't want you guys to only see me catch two fish so I thought I'd keep at it and um, I'll try to get a couple more. So it looks like it's gonna be a dawn till dusk. Up. There's a fair bit of rain around. I don't know if you can see behind me. Sorry, this is some probably shoddy camera work, but I'm following this thing around to kind of minimize pressure and just plane him up. really coming up got the gaff ready just in case and I don't know what this is but um look I'd like to find out
It's up on the surface, I can't see it yet. But, uh. He's not done. The thing, I can't put any hurt on him. up on the surface again. Still can't see it. Well it's one of my flathead rods. It's just using it for bait jigging. There's two wind knots in the in the line there. Not one, but two. Um yeah. According to the GoPro the fight has just reached the nine minute mark. Hopefully it's got like all of the hooks in it. In somewhere tough. It's up on the surface again. The way it keeps coming up makes me think it's a mackerel, possibly even a cobia. I don't know. I just want to see it. Surely it's got to be getting tired. 16 minutes. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. What? What? That is a Spanish mackerel on a bait jig, still with a full stringer of liveys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Woohoohoo! That is so good. There's the little bait, uh, bait, uh, oh my goodness, can't even talk. There's the bait jig hook in his tail. You are dead set kidding me. 22 minutes of fight time. Gaff in. Spanish mackerel. Terrible gaff shot. I was taking whatever I could get. And uh, are you kidding me? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! That is how you change a day round in like one jig. I can't believe that. That is out of control. I've got to get this guy in the boat. That is out of control. Well, ladies and gents, it does not get too much cooler than that. Spanish mackerel on a bait jig. On a bait jig. That is so crazy. I've got to get these little, little guys back. I said I wanted to get another fish for you guys. Well, that is it. Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going a little bit crazy, but that is so cool. That'd be a, a seven, maybe eight kilo Spanish mackerel on a bait jig. I don't know if you guys can fully comprehend how crazy that is, but literally on a bait jig. These are like size 14 and, oh no, sorry, these ones are size eight hooks. Size eight, usually we use like an eight. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is literally how I had him. That hook is not even in. It's sitting around his tail and then it just cut through here. So there's the hook point there. You should be just be able to see that. It is not even in the mackerel. It is just looped over and the rest is hooked in here. Are you kidding? Oh, that's made my day. Just as it's starting to rain, you are dead set. 100% kidding me. Didn't even have him hooked on a bait jig. <laughs> Spanish mackerel on a bait jig. Ladies and gentlemen, I take a bout. That's probably one of the most special captures I've ever had the pleasure of filming for you guys. That is dead set ridiculous. A big Spanish mackerel after a tough day and I got it in without even hooking it. Looped a bait jig around his tail. You're kidding. That is out of control. Oh, you're kidding. I'm gonna get some close-ups of this tail. This is crazy. Dead set.
that's the only thing that had him hooked. And look, it's just because it sliced into his tail a bit here that formed a bit of a noose. So I, oh, I literally pulled him up on a bait jig noose like that. I was pulling from this way and that's the only thing that kept the tension. You are kidding me. Oh, on a two and a half thousand reel, that is five pound braid. I've got 10 pound leader above this bait jig. That is 10 pound. I was fishing for squid. 10 pound. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. That is next level. That is next level. I'm gonna bleed this guy, knock him on the head. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> well, I wanted one more fish to make a video and I don't think I could have scripted that or got any better, cooler, crazier, more insane capture than that. You're kidding. <sighs> Just goes to show, don't give up. Only takes one more cast to change a day even if you're not expecting it. I was literally stocking up on yakkers to take tailor fishing. And went, oh, wind, wind. That's why I wasn't even filming, because I was catching yakkers. And then wind up, and this thing just goes, bang! I was like, oh, we're on. And I was like, oh, you know, usually I've been eating on bait jigs millions of times, by marlin, mackerel, everything. And then usually it goes, done, all gone. And I don't know, the fishing gods have smiled down to me something fierce because that is out of control. I still can't believe it. Oh. Right, I'm going to bleed this guy, regroup. I'm going to have to keep fishing. It's starting to rain a bit, but uh, I think we're going to have to start keep fishing. Start keep fishing. I think we're going to have to keep fishing because if this is the afternoon I'm having, then um, look, I, I'm predicting a meter long snapper. Ah! Well, if that's not the ultimate don't give up story, I don't know what is. That is absolutely unreal, kids. As long as you've got a line in the water, you're in with a shot. So don't give up till it's time to go home. And even if it is time to go home, beg to stay longer. Now, I'd really like a big snapper just to, just to top this day off. Probably just being greedy, but... Why not? Why not? I've got a livey back out again. Be crazy not to put one out. Obviously mackerel around. I can't get over that. That is out of control. Absolutely out of control. And like, he wasn't even hooked. Like fair enough, you managed to jag him somewhere in the skin, but um, wasn't even hooked. Sometimes you just get lucky. Oh. Oh. Smash that. Get him up off the bottom. He just walloped that. Got to be a little snap. That was textbook snapper hit. Yeah, can call. Can call a fish sometimes. He'd be a perfect eating size. He's got plenty of fish. I might keep a bigger snapper if I can get one. If not, I'll be right. Well, what was that? Was that first cast or second cast? I have a feeling. We're not done for the Arvo. Get back out there. Also have a feeling I should change jig head. This one might be a little bit light. Got him. Oh, get me out of the bottom. Get me out of the bottom. Oh, this guy hasn't woken up yet. What do we got? Oh, couple of snappies around. 
Phew. Two and two cast. <laughs> yes, get it back. I'm just being fussy now. I'll take a 60. A 60 will come on. Everything else can stay out there. This is the reward you get for putting in the effort. Currently dawn till dusk today. It's gonna be it's gonna be well and truly night time. Leave in the dark, get home in the dark. And I'll tell you what, if this last well this isn't what my last drift, I can guarantee you that much. It's uh there's a few fish around. That's a good one. Come up. Come up. Gone. <coughs> Corona. <coughs> Corona. That was a good fish. What got me? Did me. I'll say it once. I'll say it a hundred times. He did me in the bottom. And by the looks of things, the bottom was rough. Bugger. Re-rig? Oh well, that's a good excuse to put that heavier jig head on, I guess. We have just hooked up on the larvae in a big way. This guy is smoking. I've got to get some line back on him. That hit like an absolute freight train. I don't think I was recording on the camera. That's got to be a mackerel or a tuna of some description. Absolutely smashed it. And we're hooked up to our second big screamer of the day. This time on a little bit more fighting sporting gear. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. No. No. <coughs> oh, what let go? Geez, he was a way away. Have we still got our rig? Oh, what? braid let go well that's weird must have been at the knot must have been a fatigue knot oh what a bummer that sucks that was a really good fish I can land him on a bait jig but I can't land him on the real gear spewing sorry guys there's water on the lens but not much I can do about it sorry it's kind of half spitting I hope I get another shot on that uh, live bait. That'll be cool. Surely the plastic's got to get a bit more action as well. There it is. There's that. Still got him. Yep. Oh, good fish. Come on, stay out of the bottom. He's a nice fish. He's having a dig. I think he's up off the bottom now. We're drifting pretty fast with the wind, so that's so why I end up fighting there all these fish out the back of the boat. Not, not a great deal we can do. 
when wind and current are going together. About to get a look at this guy, I think it's a nice snapper. Oh, if he's as good as he looks, he might be a. Oh. Oh. I think that's our ingredient. There you go. He's coming home with us. That's a nice, nice eating fish. Nice fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Come up. There's some weight there. Yep, I thought that might be the case. That was a big fish with a lot of weight. Well, good morning, guys. It is uh, bright and early the next morning. Time to do a bit of filleting. Uh, I knocked the fillets off the snapper last night. We ended up having it for tea, but uh, I thought I'd weigh this mackerel because I want to know just how much it weighs because I think it's got to be some sort of personal record for myself. Uh, I reckon about eight kilos, seven and a half, maybe eight kilos, um, which on five pound braid and eight pound leader and a bait jig, I reckon it's pretty good, but let's chuck it on the scales and see how much it weighs. Well, there you go, seven and a half kilos, not bad for a, a bait jig capture. That's unreal. I'm gonna, um, fillet this guy up. I'm probably not going to show you guys much of the filleting because you've seen it all before uh, but I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to I reckon I'll chuck this guy in the smoker. I'm going to keep some for fresh and uh, we'll do a cook up with that but a lot of this guy is going to go in the smoker. I've got a few mates who are pretty keen to give it the old smoke fish a try so I'm going to hook them up but uh, yeah what an absolute epic epic fish <laughs> so good, so good anyways, fill it time, fill it time That's the Spanish all done. Nice load of fillets out of that guy. Uh, just got the grassy to go, and uh, I'll be done. Can't wait to get inside. My hands are freezing. It's cold today. It's cold. Winter is coming. On you, John Snow. You were right. Righto, guys. It is time for a cook up. And what better cooking attire than a hoodie, some track pants, ugh, and a pair of UGG boots? For those of you who aren't familiar with Queensland weather, it is uh, it's pretty tough up here. Anything below 20, struth. Get out the warm gear because, uh, yeah, it's it's getting real. You guys reckon you got cold weather, but it's not the same. Up in Queensland, we get heaps different type of cold. It is, uh, yeah, you wouldn't understand. Now, for everyone watching and having a beer, uh, I'm not actually joining you for a beer today. I'm joining you for a little drop of juice, a little nourish. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm not having a beer, but this here is filled with glorious, glorious... 10 year old port or grand tawny lovely drop the old mcwilliams handwood i don't know but it is absolutely lovely stuff why it's in this juice bottle is because i took it out beach fishing the other night to keep me warm did its job swimmingly still got some so cheers guys mm. if you are haven't tried port and you do a lot of fishing in winter Give it a crack. It will warm the cockles of your heart and it is a lovely, lovely drop. Um, if I could describe the taste, it would be like happiness with just a sprinkle of rainbows and candy canes in there. Absolutely unreal. 
I love a good drop of port. So cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, cooking today, another winter warmer. Not really. You can have it any time of the year. It's definitely not a winter warmer. Specifically, um, we're making fish tacos, but not just any fish tacos. One with a bit of spice just to keep that warm thing going. So cheers, guys. Let's get cooking. So I've done a little bit of prep work and we are going to work on our sauce first because once everything goes in the pan, you don't have a great deal of time. I've got some lettuce that I've cut up. I've got some avocado that's thinly sliced. I've got some radishes from my next door neighbour. Fresh out of the garden. Thinly sliced as well. Um, and then what else we've got? We've got our, our soft tacos or tortillas. Um, and we've got that Spanish mackerel that I was lucky enough to stumble across. Now, I've cut it into pieces like this, about a centimetre thick, and just kind of cubed it up. And that's just going to make it sit better on your soft taco, and you'll be able to get better bites. So if you have big long pieces, you get a bite, you end up pulling the whole piece of fish out. It's a pain in the bum. Easier just to cut it up small, and away you go. But like I said, we're gonna work on our sauce first, so let's get cracking on that. For our sauce, we're gonna put a bit of mayonnaise in a little sauce bowl thing. Squeeze about half a lemon in there, depending on how zesty you like your sauce. Remember, this is gonna help knock a bit of the heat off our rub that I haven't told you about yet, so keep that in mind. Um, so we've got that. Oh, there's no lid on that. Bit of pepper. And a crack of salt. Just put a little couple of spots of uh, olive oil in there as well. Mix it all together. It should come out like a uh, like a salad dressing style sauce. Uh, it's not going to be thick by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's just more of a dressing, kind of light, creamy, zesty sauce. Now it's one of those ones that you have to taste as you go and see what you need more of. So once it's all stirred up, give it a... It's actually not too bad straight off the bat. I reckon crack more pepper. there it is good now I like mine quite um, quite limey I think I said lemon before but they definitely use limes uh, I like mine quite zesty so it's a fair bit of these ones in there um, tone it right down if you don't like lime as much but that is ready to go right guys now it's time to start our fish so pan on oil in there heating up ready to rock and roll grab your cut up fish your fish cubes Chuck them in a bowl. I'm going to be using a rub. This one here by Master Foods. It is a Jamaican style spicy jerk rub. Now, you can use it on all sorts of stuff, but it goes great on fish, particularly if you're going to do the tacos. Now, you want to give them a pretty good dusting. You might have to get your hands dirty to make sure you get a bit of an even coating. You remember, this stuff has a bit of kick, so if you're not a big fan of spices, maybe don't use it. Maybe dusted in flour or tandaco, southern fried seasoning, uh, southern chicken fried seasoning, that'll sort you right out as well. But tonight it's cold, we want some chili, we want some kick. That's a pretty good coating there. And before it goes in the pan, it should look something like this. Righto, pan, fish. Now remember these won't take long at all because you cut them up nice and small. So while they're cooking away, grab your tortilla, soft taco, what do you want to call them? Out, chuck it in a small pan and get that cooking as well. That won't take very long at all. You want them not overcooked by any stretch of the imagination, if anything, because you compare it to a steak, about a medium rare. So they won't take long at all. That should be done. So you can grab it without burning yourself. They are done. Now, 
Now all that flavoring that's still in the pan here, we wanna do something pretty cool. Now I know I've harped on about not liking coriander in the past, but this dish really requires it. So grab your coriander, chuck it in there. You're gonna kinda mix it around so it gets a bit of the oil. Once it's all coated in oil, just let it sit. And now we'll dress our taco. We're gonna be one-handed, so it's not gonna be super neat. And skew his fingers, but hey, we're all friends. Line of avocado, slices of radish, bit of lettuce. Get your dressing sauce and just drizzle it over the top. Now, back to our coriander. Now you see how it's wilted at half the size? That makes it a lot easier to fit in the bin. Get that stuff away from your tacos. It is disgusting. There you have it, guys. That is a fish taco fit for a king. All important taste test. Make a mess. It's fresh, it's spicy. That dressing, nice little kick to it. Oh, guys, get out and give this one a crack. How easy was it? Super simple, and um, look, in the flavor department, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. The only bad part about these is you have to make yourself about 10 more, because once you start, they are damn hard to stop eating. Guys, that is all we've got time for this week. I'm gonna get cooking and, uh, and make myself a few more. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed that fluke of a capture with that mackerel, because I don't think I'll be showing you anything like that anytime soon. That literally has never happened to me anything close in the vicinity like that before. Um, plenty of times I've had bait jigs just bitten off. That was dead set one in a million fluke. Absolutely unreal. I'd love to hear some of your stories, what you guys have caught on bait jigs as well. All the random captures. Chuck them in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you like to learn something, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more fishing action to come. Guys, I've been alluding to it in previous videos, but there is new apparel on the way next week, Sunday the 31st. I'll be dropping some new apparel and two new Sammy Hitsky bits of merch that you guys will definitely want to be there to check out because they will not last long. These are in limited numbers and they are very, very, very cool. So make sure you check it out next week, Sunday, for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Guys, hope you have a good one. Hope you're catching a few fish and I'll catch you next week. Cheers.